This is the DIY candle making kit that I got and I am so excited to finally bust it open. You have about 10 really, really, really pretty uh, candle tins in here. There it comes with a uh, thermometer. You have um, different um, colors and different designs for the tins. Now have another decision to make of which um, oil I want and um, which candle for um, my gift giving. Oh, look at that one. That was really pretty too. And also there are four packs of wax that come in this kit. It should be, it's not going to be enough for all the ones I want to make, but this is definitely a good start. Oh, and look at that. That's a, a really pretty purple. And um, there are the wig tools, and I totally lost them. And uh, it just made the candle making a little bit longer. But I was able to go by and find um, another wig holder. Oh, that's a really, really pretty pink. I think that was going to be for the strawberry. And and for um, inside this box, um, there is the actual um, the pour. Uh, what you use to actually um, melt the wax and pour the wax into the uh, the tins, and um, there's about four different colors. That was purple, um, the purple dye, and uh, yeah, that's your pouring your wax pouring tin. And there's some, also some essential oils that came in here. Your plant base. I think that was Lily. I am not going to be using um, these. Uh, maybe another time. Um, to be honest, it's because they do smell really good, but they're boring. I mean, if you're a diffuser user, these are you know the kind of oils you use. You know, when you first got your diffuser, and you just ready to move on to something else. And um, there was a different color dyes. Oh, that's a really pretty purple. And in here, you, there's your stirrer that comes in and your wicks. And you also get um, the stickers uh, for your wicks as well. And then, of course, the trusty instructions come inside. So I'm all ready. I'm all excited to um, go ahead and start with my candle making and it also has some dry flowers so let's get right into it i am so excited and i have totally just threw everything out of the box and everything landed right here on my desk so welcome to my beautiful mess of diy making now, I have some decisions that I need to make. I'm trying to first decide uh, which flowers I want to go in which pot and which oil I think which, uh, which will be um, really nice um, with the actual tin, depending on the color and the design. And there is the, the wick centering tool that I told you that I had to buy because I totally lost all of those wick centering tools and I still can't find them so I have no idea when I repack the box what I did with those but this uh, this one works it's just going to take the process a little bit longer because I only have one of them but it fits and it does work so that's awesome and I um, also have some some molds some candle molds and I've never used the candle molds so I'm excited about using those and here is just some of the dry flowers. I think there is jasmine, there's a rosebud. And with these dry flowers, they're not, um, the, the scent isn't strong at all. So it won't overpower the oil. Um, so the, what I'm um, really pretty much just thinking about is, is which dry flower would just be cute in which candle, depending on the color. And I went ahead and started out with two ounces of wax, which is not going to be enough. So um, I decided to go ahead um, and do at least uh, six ounces of the wax. You probably want at least six ounces of wax for um, these tins, for these candle tins. So um, I go ahead and measure that out. 
and um, for the molds there it is going to be a more wax but for the tins I'm just going to start out with about six ounces of the wax and then kind of go from there and now I'm just going to um, basically just start to put in the the wicks into the tins now there's a few uh, different ways that uh, you can do this um, as far as um, getting the, the wick inside the tin um, you can either just um, take the sticker and put the sticker directly inside of the tin and just make sure you're you're centering it as best as you can Or you can also just um, put the, the sticker directly on the wig and adhere it that way. Um, for this example, for this first 10, I'm just going to place the sticker um, directly at the bottom of the 10. Try to center it as, as best as you can. And um, as you can see, and then there's a little sticky. Then you just pull off the little sticker that's um, that's on the sticker. Just peel that off, and then you can adhere the wick to that. And that's basically how you get your wicks inside the tent. It's just a sticker, and then you just place the wick right onto um, the sticker. I kind of hold it there for you know a few seconds. Uh, just to make sure that um, it's sticking really good. So I'm just going to continue on um, adding my wicks to the pots and um, for example like for this this is just a different way of adding the wicks you know either way that you want to do it is fine but for this one here I attached the sticker directly to the bottom of the wick and then did the peel that way and then at this point you can stick the wick and the sticker down inside of the center of the tent. And I'm just going to put just a few, just a few of the, um, these are the rose, these are the rose stems, the, um, not the buds, but the, the actual um, rose petals, I should say. And I just popped a few of those in there um, because I want um, a few of those up inside. I believe I'm going to do the strawberry, um, the strawberry champagne with those. And I'm just going to continue on adding all the wicks to my pots and let's get on to some melting, some wax melting. Now 
now it's finally time to melt this candle wax. I have about six ounces in here. I'm just going to pour it right into the, the pouring pot. And um, I just kind of hold on to it just for a second and give it a stir. Um, it doesn't take very long to melt, but I'm going to be completely honest. I did not um, put a timer on. What I went by is just how hot um, I'm waiting for it to get to um, between 150 and 160. So um, I just gave it a stir. Um, and you can see how quickly it starts to melt. Um, I have just um, water at the bottom of a pot. It's almost like a double boiler. And um, I uh, put the wax in and just kind of let it do its thing. Um, through time and time, um, I did go in and give it a stir. You want to make sure that you do go in and stir. Um, at this point, this is only the candle wax. I'm not putting any kind of oil or the dyes at this point. You want to just make sure that the candle wax um, gets up between 150 and 150 and 170, so you can get a real nice hot candle pour. Now my first pour is going to be strawberry champagne. This smells so good. I can't wait to share this. Um, I went ahead and already put in a few, just a few of some of the rose petals and put it at the bottom. And uh, it's recommended to do at least 10 drops. Um, just to your liking, I believe I did uh, 15 uh, for mine. So um, this is just going to be a clear pour. There's no um, color or dye. This is just going to be a clear pour. And this is going to be the first uh, strawberry champagne candle. And look at that, it turned out really good, really good. I, I absolutely love that, it's so pretty. And for the second one, I'm going to um, actually add a, a color. I went ahead and added purple. So for my second candle, um, I still decided to use still some of the rose buds and the rose petals uh, for um, the bottom. And uh, I'm going to use a purple, a purple pour for the second candle. Now you want to make sure that, you know, you get, um, depending on how light or dark you want um, your candle to be, um, if I wanted it a little bit darker, so I went ahead and stirred a little bit more. But you can always just take that out, you know, what's left in there, you can just take it out. And um, use, use this and do this process as quickly as possible because the oil, the candle wax, it, it melts pretty quickly, but it can also uh, molt back into its solid form um, just as fast. So um, you know, work quickly uh, with your, your hot wax and get it into your candle tank.
and I'm just gonna drop in just a few just a few um, some of the rose petals uh, I did I do also have um, rose buds um, that came in this dried um, flower kit um, that I also got so just a few just added just a few more um, once you start adding them um, it, it's really fun so um, I try not to go overboard but I just added a few more Now my next pour is going to be the red currant and cream and this was another one that I absolutely love. I can't wait to share. And this pour is going to be with a red dye and the dried flower that I used, um, I just um, crumbled up a few uh, forget-me-nots. Um, those, they don't have a smell at all so um, I have some of those at the bottom and I'm just going to go ahead and fill this with the red wax So my next pour is going to be for the Oil Barbershop 1920s and this smells absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to share this. And what I did was, I did this a little bit backwards when I put in my color. I really didn't mean to put in a yellow and then I was going to put in a little bit of blue and then mix it that way and then take the blue out. Um, before it got all the way dissolved I'm um, just for a little bit more color but I did it backwards and you know it, it, it works out um, that's the fun of you uh, DIYs um, you can have fun with it and um, it usually still um, works out it's not a big deal I will just have this really 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 pretty blue um, that's going to be for my barbershop candles and um, I cannot, absolutely cannot wait um, to share these. So I, I'm doing um, two of these. One would be more of, one is going to be more of a darker blue, and then um, the other, um, it's going to be, I think it turns out a little bit more of a lighter blue on the second one. So I have my first candle done and it is made with love. I have made one gift and I have so many more to go. This is the barbershop and I cannot wait to um, gift these. This is the barbershop. So um, these are ready to go and I have a lot more to um, still make and um, I, I, I enjoy making. 